What's up guys? Welcome back to the show. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are heading down to Antonia's shop and finally getting our 328 daily back. This thing got the front bumper painted, the rear bumper repaired and painted, the mirror caps painted, and the washer nozzles painted. We got so much stuff painted, guys. It should be a full paint match car. Now, it still needs a polish. Unfortunately, since everything was delayed and delayed, I couldn't get Jose to polish it. I couldn't get booked in at the exact same time that Antonia finished the car. So we're going to take the car back, probably get a polish another day. But in the meantime, guys, we're going to finally get our daily back and I am so 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 excited because we have some new modifications for it and we have so much maintenance that that car needs. So without further ado guys let's go ahead and go pick her up. Guys, just now pulling up, we are just looking for our 328. I just want to take our baby home. Guys, we are picking her back up. So unfortunately, he did color match the diffuser. I didn't want this thing color matched, but I mean, hey, it's better than nothing. At least the rear bumper is color matched. The mirror caps are actually in the inside of the car. In the front bumper, we had to get it repainted because ours was chipping like crazy. Um, so finally, guys, the whole car is color matched. We're gonna have to get this thing home and get this thing a car wash uh, and get us reassemble everything, but we need to get this thing home first. It looks like the previous owner had these glued on, so I want to get these glued back on on both sides because this car doesn't actually have the windshield washer system. I want to readjust the bumper because when they put it back on, it doesn't look like they adjusted it perfectly. And honestly, at this point, guys, it needs a really good wash front and back. This thing is absolutely filthy. Just came out of the body shop. Finally got the rear bumper paint match. Oh, yeah, we can't forget about the mirror caps as well. That looks pretty awesome. The interior is definitely going to need some cleaning as well, but um, any hizzles. Now, but before getting into all of that, I do want to get into some maintenance. So you guys know I'm a huge FCP Euro fan. I've always been stocking up on their products. Again, everything you guys get from them has a lifetime warranty. And of course, this video is partnered with FCP Euro. So if you guys ever need any maintenance items for your car, remember, if you get coolant, brake fluids, anything at all, and after a couple months or a couple years, it's time to change it, you can just send those back and get new ones for free. That's how that system works. So how the system works exactly, let's just say I put in some oil in the car. A couple months later, I need a new oil change. I would order new fluids. So I do have to pay for it again but when I drain the old fluids back into the bottle and I send that bottle back I get reimbursed for the fluids so that's how the lifetime warranty goes and you guys can do this as many times as you want so take advantage of the system guys but yeah I really want to get that bad boy cleaned up but I also have brake fluids you finally got for it has the brake fluid light I mean, typically what I normally do is reset the service light because brake fluids are just brake fluids. I mean, they can last a lot longer than BMW suggests. Um, but at the same time, ever since I found out how dangerous that could possibly be, I've been doing brake fluids nonstop. So we, we stacked up all brake fluids. We're gonna be doing the brake fluids on this E92. And uh, we actually actually got some spark plugs. We have some modifications, which I'm gonna be showing you guys in the next video. We got an OEM modification, um, another modification right over here. We have the cowl filter, we have oil changes and spark plugs. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing the spark plugs and I'm gonna be doing the cowl and of course, course the brake fluids then obviously just clean the whole car up. I want this thing to look absolutely perfect. The oil change unfortunately I can't do today because uh, my oil jug is full and I have to go to Walmart and get that. So that's just gonna take too long for me to be able to actually get this video out to you guys today. Again doing daily uploads um, you're always on a time scrunch. But yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get the Toyota Super outside so we can get the 328 inside. <laughs> Guys, this thing hasn't been washed for two weeks. Once it gets its first wash, it's gonna look so, so, so good. I honestly haven't been too excited to see this whole car back together with the M3 bumper, the M3 mirrors, the M3 side skirt, and the M Sport rear bumper all painted. It's mainly because the whole car, the rest of the car is honestly absolutely filthy. So yeah, we'll get that sorted in a bit, but let's go ahead, pop the hood, and just start knocking out some maintenance.
like that guys, we have the brake fluids done and the spark plugs done. Now the next thing I wanna do is, is actually fix a really nasty smell that I have in this car. So this car, as you guys knew, was flooded. Um, water was going through the seals on the top, going into the interior, flooded the carpets, flooded the seats, um, and just pretty much molded up the area. Now we did replace the carpets. I didn't see any mold or anything underneath the carpets, so we're good there. So we replaced the carpets, we replaced the seats, we replaced everything in the interior, but there's still a little bit of a moldy smell that's coming from the AC vent. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is turn up the AC all the way guys and just blast this thing through the AC vent. If you guys are ever gonna do this, make sure to have all your windows down because if you're in the car and you do this, you're honestly gonna pass out. This is very bad for you. So make sure you have all your windows down. I'm gonna go ahead and spray half a can on that side, half a can on this side um, and just have it circulate through the whole system. And then once all that is done, we have a brand new cabin air filter from FCP Euro as well and we can finally reassemble the rest of this good stuff. And I need to wipe all this dirt down as well just so none of that stuff gets inside of it. Guys, I had to take a step back. That thing's honestly very strong. I sprayed it through the whole engine bay as well. It's basically a disinfectant, so I just sprayed it the whole engine bay as well, just in case there's any mold in the engine bay. Uh, but I mean, now that we sprayed pretty much a quarter take on that side, a quarter take on this side, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that center portion a little bit once that smoke kind of goes away, and then we can slap on the new cabin air filter. Guys, low key, I'm pretty disappointed with this paint job. First things first, um, they really scraped up my new headlight lenses. You guys know I just literally installed brand new headlight lenses and both of these are very scratched up. It looks like they didn't remove the bumper when they painted it. You guys can see that, that this was painted on the car and uh, the paint right here is like, I don't know if you call this fisheye, but it's literally all over, which is actually very disappointing. This is just dangling off. I know that was screwed in before I took it there. I mean, that's for sure. Um, there's still some tape and stuff like that for masking because this thing was left on the car. Yesterday, I didn't really notice it when I picked it up, but this is actually pretty disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I usually take my car to them all the time. Like, look at this. This is even like kind of messed up right now. I think I have to remove the bumper to get all this stuff fixed. This grill, uh, oh my God, this grill also. Not to mention that the diffuser was actually painted on. It was not supposed to be painted. Um, and the same thing goes with the bumper, guys. It's all fish-eyed. So, I don't know. I mean, honestly, uh, usually when I take it to my guy, uh, I normally don't get this kind of work. But this time, I'm actually very disappointed. Mainly because, I mean, I had to wait two weeks to get my car back and see in this. I mean, again, he's my guy. I usually go to him. But honestly, I might start looking at some other shops if this is how it's going to be because I'm actually very disappointed. Pointed. like this sucks dude. guys that honestly sucks now it looks like I have to remove the front bumper that's not something that I have planned for today but it looks like something else I'm gonna have to do because I want to honestly fix all this stuff with the bumper so let's go ahead and just pop it off So I guess first things first, let me go ahead and just fix all these grills real quick. So we got the bumper fixed up. That's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. And that's not going anywhere. So that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, at least now it's fully assembled. But again, just the paint work is not that great. I'm hoping the clear coat's at least somewhat decent so this thing doesn't start chipping anytime soon. If it honestly does, I'm probably gonna take it back to him. I'm not the kind of guy that likes to take cars back to anyone. Especially like when someone doesn't work for me, uh, I'm not the kind of guy to like tell them like, hey bro, I'm not picky. I'm not like a Karen. I'm not picky or anything like that. Like usually when work gets done on my cars I usually just accept it and just like move on but like if you guys literally look at it like I am I just don't know how like this is honestly probably the worst bumper I've ever gotten painted uh, personally I mean I've seen worse obviously this bumper before I got painted was way worse uh, but at the same time again I just I just don't know what happened Anywho, we got our brand new bulbs let's go ahead and install these bad boys so at least we're knocking out a couple more things at the same time Now, there's not actually anything wrong with this headlight, but since we have a new bulb on the other side, I have a feeling it's gonna be two different colors, so might as well replace the bulb on this side. Now, the 
the last problem that I have is that this one right here is working absolutely perfectly, uh, but this one, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like flashing, it's tweaking, it's not really working properly. Now the good thing is, I don't have to go inside the headlight to disconnect those. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect both of those, at least just have the halo rings, and then on the top, it'll just show the carbon fiber, which is just as good. Yes, if the eyelets still work, that would've been great, but it's not a big deal. As long as we can unplug both of them, and they're both symmetrical, that's all that matters. Now it is unfortunate that I do have to unplug my eyelid, but at least now they're both symmetrical and both of the daytime running lights now work. So this is actually perfect, it looks super good. Let's go on, throw on this front bumper now. And finally guys, we have the front dialed in. We have the two new bulbs in there. We, we turned off the eyelids. We have both the new washer uh, caps on there. Uh, we got the bumper fitment even better. We got all the grills put back in place. Not to mention we did do a brake fluid flush and a spark plug change. Oh yeah, and a new cabin air filter. I forgot about the <laughs> Wow, actually we got a lot of stuff done in this video. Now I really wanna wash this car, but you guys can see the interior as well is absolutely filthy. And I don't wanna take my time. And normally when I clean my cars inside out, it'll take me about a couple hours. And I do want to get this video out for you guys today and uh, probably the next video I'm gonna be installing the new mods onto the car and at the same time detailing the car so it's gonna be like a perfection video hopefully in the next video so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash that like button yo man is fasting so uh yeah it's been kind of hard to get all this work done while fasting at the same time but you know what's gonna put a smile on this face if you guys can get this video to a thousand likes so please smash that like button for me guys but yeah like I said guys hopefully the next video is gonna be a perfection video it's gonna be really satisfying getting everything cleaned up and song the finishing touches modifications to this thing and then ultimately this thing's just gonna be our daily um, I've been trying to just perfect it little by little get all the maintenance done because honestly once this thing is all dialed in I'm gonna have a perfect daily on the side and I will no longer have to daily my truck or the E92 M3 to anywhere because honestly guys gas prices are absolutely crazy and a 328 right now is more appealing than ever but without further ado guys I love y'all so much remember to stay humble I'll see you on the next one peace out